Well, good day, folks, now, and welcome to the Pirate Round. I be Captain Skultipus. That be the, Car the Scarlet Raven there, and this be our friend Captain Tarnar. From the, from the ship the Drake. The Drake, who just came into port here in Nassau, and we're aboard in our tavern here, and we've talking with Captain Turner about his adventures down south. And we've seen that he's come up and he's got quite a bit of accoutrements upon his body. Yeah. Now, when we talk about how you have to be when you're a pirate and you've got many accoutrements upon yourselves, we say to them, well, you've got to carry your wealth upon you because there's no, no such thing as banks now, right? So, what we'll do first is we'll welcome Captain Turner with our toast and we'll say... Welcome, friends. Our toast in the small crystal skulls. Small crystal skull. Now, welcome to the pirate round, friends. Uh -huh. To our yeah. friends who uh, who aren't here. To uh, friends who've uh, we've yet to meet. To uh, friends that uh, we've lost. True. That aren't with us anymore. And those who have taken the final journey. We say to you, friends. We wish you were here, but we're glad we're here in spirit for you. Your heart. Your heart. Oh, bites like the devil. Okay, now. <laughs> You're becoming a weakling now. I am. Um, <laughs> it's got a lot on there. Now, Captain Turner, I see you've got many accoutrements upon yourself. Now, would you would you give, take a minute now and explain what many of the things you've got on you and what their uses be for? Now, many of the things I have on me would be useful shipboard, and many of them you would not wear shipboard. You would wear them if you were maybe going to port and wanted to look all gussied up and fancy because rings tend to get caught in riggings, and as you well know, I'm sure, they, they, they are do. very practical. That they do. But other things that I have, you know, would be useful. Right, you can go ahead and stand up there. You can go up there. Well, move your oh, barrel behind you. There you Ooh, go. Now. Look at those treasures. Darn. Hey, maybe I'll just take this one. <laughs> Captain Turner's got a lot of stuff on him here now. Hey, hey, the, uh... Excuse me there for a moment, Captain. I hear the crew calling. <laughs> uh, this be what we call an astrolabe. The astrolabe be a device that's... Would be like a astronomical calculator. You would use this to uh, to gauge your position by the stars, to determine when the sun would rise, when the sun would set. All very important things to know at sea. Well, you got to navigate your way around, otherwise you'll never be able to find yourself from one place to the next. Hey, that'd be true. That's true. This be my compass right here. Very oh, trusty. Oh, you got the compass. That's a good one. That's a good one. Does it always point north, or just point wherever the hell you want to go? Now, this particular one only points north. Oh well, that's good too. So it has a uh, locking mechanism to keep it from flapping around while oh, you're walking. That's and true, you don't want it to break. Lock it in place once you get it uh, ready oh, to put it away. That's true. Now we've got well, something like different. that upon our map now where we find our way around town. Hey, you've got the, yes, the, the compass with the, uh, the sundial on it. Yeah, it's got the sundial and a bit of an azimuth thing there mm -hmm. uh, you know, for finding a way back and forth. Aye, this be similar to what you have there, but a bit more portable. Ah, true. I have... Uh, Attached it here so that I can easily access when needed. Better you've got it, so you, in case you need it, while well, you've got it with you. I, and another thing that's very useful for navigating your position is this chronometer here. This be very fancy, state-of-the-art technology. Why it is? I've never wow, seen a thing like it. No, that's the work of the devil, I see. Or you'd never know the whole no, time in no, your hand. How to use it? So you would use this to tell you what the time is at a given point anywhere on the earth so that you would know then what your longitude would be based on when the sun rises. What so, time is, is the time change? the same in England as it is in Nassau? No, it would not be the same. Just how, do you know? how do you know? If this is telling you that it is 9 o'clock in the morning in London and you're in Nassau, the sun would be rising at a very different time. And that's how you could know where you're at. No. Don't believe it. Tis sorcery. <laughs> Something he's brought from the Spaniards. I'm going to have to learn how to use it. Yeah. Well, there's something he's brought from the Spaniards from down south. You know how they're always trying to send magic and sorcery towards us to ruin our, our, our good time up here in Nassar. Aye. No, I see you've got to find Bozeman's whistle there. I do. The Bozeman whistle. And this you would use to call orders to your crew. That's right. right. That we know. That we know. Yeah, we know about this. So, well, that's one right. blast would mean one thing. It would, it would all be up to the captain and the ship. That's true. That's right. right. We've heard our own bosman doing it. Though. Right. We've had our own bosman. He, he throws it out there. A uh, loud one. And it, they pipe you one way or they pipe you another. I, using, you cup the... Mm -hmm. All hands to... All hands! Hello! It would mean something different. That's right. All hands to the guns! I, exactly. 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 Oh. This be my small pistol. Ah, well, you got you. to have a, at least a few upon you. Be me back up. That's right. 
the primary pistol like what we're on there a, you go on the holster. Very convenient holster here. Yeah, look at that. And you see it carry it's at half cock. You know, I you've got to always be ready, folks. You don't want to go off half, half cocked. Cocked. Okay, not half cocked. You'd want to cock it all the way down. That's true. Which would require pulling it all the way back. Oh look at that. That would be a full uh, That is a fine weapon. That's a fine weapon. It looks like it might be a French weapon. Looks maybe. like a that's French a duning half piece. Cocked there. Ah. And full cock there. Oh look at that. That's what we say. It's a fine piece, folks. You can never have too many pistols if you de if you be a pirate, you know, to keep the to keep the peepers at bay when they come after you and it's like, back you lovers! No more you no more mutiny today. Alright. <laughs> I indeed. Oh, what more shall I say? Well you got this thing hanging. What's that? A bottle of rum? <laughs> no, <laughs> that, that not okay. Granado, like we've got. Oh, I'd be a Granado. We didn't yeah. see those like, ah, that, I, that I got for us. Look at that. He's found himself a Granado. Very dangerous if you're in a firefight. You That's want to make true. sure that you don't run through the fire while you're wearing one of That's true. Now, now some pirates actually made a concoction of noxious fumes that they would throw in to cause the enemy crew to come boiling up from out of the, the lower decks. They would throw them down in there, causing them to run forth and that way they could capture them, shoot them, hack them apart, whatever they want. Well, that's true. You know, Satan's own <laughs> arse farts, they call that sulfur <laughs> or the brimstone they would throw below deck and, right. and, and, to, uh, and to rain panic there upon the lubbers and make them come up so they, they face their judgment there with the pirate crew. Aye, indeed. Yeah. And I see you got a fine weapon there. Look and at that cutlass. Cutlash. Aye. Ah, look at that. Aye. Well, it looks officer's like cutlash. an officer's cutlash. Sweet. That's a beauty. Aye. Look at that. Ah, must have had to take that from someone there. I... I say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now, you can see that Captain Turner's got himself quite a hat. There are lots of feathers in it. And, Aye. you know, when you be a pirate, you've got, your hat to, you've got to have yourself a really wonderful pirate hat. That'd be how you show your wealth. Exactly. You, you show it upon your head now. A man of fortune as he strolls upon the streets looking for the right strumpets left and right. Indeed. Well, he's, you've got to have the right hat, you know, to, to impress them. Isn't that right? Indeed. And the more feathers, the more impressive. That's true. Very impressive. Very impressive. <laughs> Yarr. <laughs> Yarr. And of course, Captain Turner's got himself a very fine coat. And I, you know, you've got to have a fine coat as a captain because it sets you apart from the below decks. And you know, they be lubberly, but <laughs> up on top, when you be an officer, you've got a fine coat made of the velvet or the nice breast the, buttons. Yeah, breast buttons upon it. I like me calico. Calico, hey, calico coat and the seam or the velvets, and it sets you apart from below decks where they would stood around, you know, lubberly in their own filth, and then the captain upon the poop deck then and says, "Back down, ya! Back down, ya bastards!" And and I've got my own coat on, and don't no. you lay a hand upon me. I see that thing there. I, oh, what now? That I've know? seen. I've seen. One of our crew carried one of these, oh. and he used it one day to knock a guy upside the head well, really hard, and knocked him out flat, just boom, flat, like as, flat as can be. That's true. This be a monkey's fist. Oh, This would be a that. very useful knot, also used for good luck. Oh. Now you could tie something of value inside of this and make it very hard for somebody to steal from you and very hard to lose, because you can loop that on and... I never thought of that. Knock him Throw your coin in there. Or you could tie... A, uh, a ball of lead or a rock oh, in right. there, and it you shot. have a good, a good, good chunk of shot, and whack them upon the head. Indeed, a like, very useful. Friend. Well, a, a cannonball might be a little bit big because most of our cannons run to, tend to be about three pounds, which is uh, well, about two point nine inches around. That way, they fit down a three pound uh, or a three inch uh, barrel. Well, and a swivel uh, gun shot. So would a swivel work. gun shot or yeah, or, grape or, shot. or grape, grape shot would work great for that. That would would you know a monkey's fist. Now that that brings us now. Uh, to uh, an episode we're going to do in the future with Captain Turner, who's an expert at knots. And he's going to be showing us how... The knots, you mean like how fast we travel? No, no I mean not. knots about the things, about the ropes <sighs> that we tie. Ropes, tying, well, tying you know, the sails, We've got yes. many, many ropes here upon our ship, and there'll be above you too also ropes. And uh, be, uh, the, the idea of tying knots and cordage are very important aboard a ship, because what people don't realize now, when we look at boats, and back then, well, there was miles, miles of ropes upon ships. Everything was secured down with a line or a cord, as we see. And what was that rope made out of? Well, made out of hemp, most likely, or sisal. Sisal. But, but typically made of sisal. That'd be sisal there. Well, you know, there ought to be hemp rope, too. Hemp rope. And um, occasionally manila. Yeah, true. Manila. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And it'd be made of something of that sort. Uh, you know, quite useful. And sometimes they would take those ropes and they would tar them. 
uh, so they would withstand the weather. Now we don't have any tarred ropes with us, but we've got uh, ropes such as this, and this be, uh, I believe this be um, sisal up here. Uh, it appears to be that's something of that sort. And so, and Captain Turner's also brought more ropes with him, so we're going to be exploring the, a rather knotty problem, and that'd be what to do about knots aboard ship. That's right. Now, talking about the monkey's fist, if you can find the blunder monkey, you let us know, because as soon as we be getting the pirate round shirts, we get you one. Aye. And I mention it now again. Look for the blunder monkey. It'd be upon here somewhere. If you find it, you'd be earning yourself a free t-shirt that we have. Aye. So, we say to your friends now, this episode of the pirate round be concluded. And we say, friends, we're glad you watched. Stab that uh, like button. Subscribe button. Subscribe button as many times as you like. Both on the, the Book of Faces now. We always like you to, to be recruiting. We, uh, we've got a little over 125 crew now. Captain, a good size which, crew. Which is not bad for a pirate ship. But, oh, you know, isn't you? I've, got, I've got my eyes on more. Not true. And, and the same with the, the uh, YouTuber channel. The YouTubers. We've not got as many there, but we've gotten a few. So... Please spread the word of the pirate round because, you know, there's nothing better than being a pirate. That's true. Aye. Aye, if you're going to be anything else in your life, be a pirate. And so we say to your friends, don't ever let anyone make you scared. Don't ever let anyone grind you down underneath their heels. Always be yourself. Always be strong. Always be true to who you are. Can we send that to that, Captain? And if the true you is a pirate, all the better. All the better. <laughs> never let anyone grind you down and never take shite from no one because you be a pirate, friends. And here we go. Thank you, sir and madams, for the pirate round. Good day. Yarhar. Yarhar.